My name's Gwendolyn, and I'm a incest survivor. Hello, Hello Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Hello, Gwendolyn. It's really scary to say that. Uh, my first perpetrator was my grandfather. He was a very dashing, handsome man. He looked like Tyrone Power. Uh, he would come into my room wearing a mask, and we would play Zorro and Consuelo, and he would make a Z on my tummy with a feather, and then later with his sword. <coughs> Cheryl? Wendy! It is such Hi. a pleasure to meet oh, you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I saw you in a production of Company in New oh, York my gosh. years ago. You that were was sensational. Your station. Thank you. Todd? What are you doing here? It's Larry. Wait, oh. do you guys know each other? Oh, we, uh, well, we, we can't once. talk about it. You did hey, a great. Hey, how's hey. my dream? Hey, hi. hi. This is the director, Wendy. This is my hi. uncle, Dr. Gordon. How do you do? The osteopath? Yes. How do you know? Get out of here. What? Get out of here! Get out of here, no, you no. fucking piece of shit! Get out, you filthy animal! You Wendy, fly! Don't. What is oh, what? What That's you? not what what is fucking that? turd! Get out of here! How oh. dare you! You subhuman turd! Wait for me outside! Out I'll meet you after the show! Well, hello! Come on in! Come in! Officer Rajowski. I know these people are your friends, but there's an illegal cable hookup out there. Well, that was there when, uh, well, we moved in. I mean, that's the reason we picked the house. Come on in. Jim, Cheryl, this is my partner, Officer Lorraine Elkin. Oh. Pleasure to meet you, citizens. Yes. <laughs> yes, we first met on a multiple suspect 437. When I arrived at the scene, this diminutive minion of justice was laying her nightstick right in the immobilizing nerve cluster of that perp. Can you believe I get paid for this? <laughs> Can I see your handcuffs? You break the law, ma'am, you'll see the handcuffs soon enough. I think you better push this little suspect by here. Oh 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 oh, 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 Lorraine, that's gonna stain. Why don't you come into the kitchen? I'll get that out. It's okay, honey. It's okay, baby. Just an action. I see you have a lovely home here, oh, Cheryl. Thank you. It's a burglar magnet. Close those windows at night. <laughs> See, the trick is to dab, not rub. Oh. Thanks. You know, if you ever find yourself confronted by an armed assailant, aim for the brachial tendon of the gun arm. When you hear that pop, you'll know you're home. Thank you. Sorry, I thought we were exchanging helpful tips. See? Look, it's almost gone. Thanks. Yeah, I'm wearing these to the ball. What? You're not gonna wear a gown? Well, the only dresses I own are for when I go undercover as a hooker. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see how that might not be right. But, but come on. Don't you want to look pretty for the guys? <laughs> you, you do like guys, don't, don't you? <laughs> I get that question a lot. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Oops. Uh, hey, you know what? My sister and I are taking you to the mall tomorrow. We are going to get you a gown. Well, all right. All right. Uh, why not? I say, we'll take my squad car. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can park anywhere I want. <laughs> no, that is so much better than Jim's homemade handicap placard. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Hey, Flo, wait up. Flo, what are you doing? What's the matter? Flo? I'm sorry, Gloria. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, honey, I know. I'm no. not too good at saying goodbye myself. You don't understand. What is it, honey? I know you've been thinking it was Sylvia that turned you into the housing authority, but it wasn't. My sister's next on the list for an apartment. But that could be another year from now. Another year in Brownsville. 
I don't have to tell you what that neighborhood is like now. Anyways, you can hate me if you want to, but I just had to tell you. Good morning, Mr. Moore. They missed a payment. Toss them in the street. But, uh, but ma'am, that's a nursing home. They're invalids. Oh, boo hoo hoo. So, are we all set for that charity ball? Well, your tickets are confirmed, but Sergio says he needs money for a new tux. More money? I gave him two grand yesterday. These damn gigolos. Every man in Mortville wants to bleed me dry. Why can't I just find a good, decent man? One with integrity, one with compassion, one with... Oh, my God. Who's that beefcake? Hi, I'm Ben Healy. I believe we spoke on the phone. Uh, I don't know. I, I suppose he's a customer at the bank. He's with the loan officer. Out of my way, fat boy. You saw a body? That's right, only in his underwear. In his underwear. That's right, that's right. And, and you know, security guard, you know, I saw he had an AK-47 in that little room. Uh-huh, an AK-47 assault rifle? That's right, that's right. What is your name again? Slater, Lenny Slater. Slater, Lenny Slater. <laughs> Aren't you the young practical joker who parked Coach Asbell's new Cadillac in the middle of the gymnasium? I don't know quite what you're up to here, but I can assure you, you are not going to disrupt my class with your juvenile attempts at witticism. Look, I just think we should... Young man. I'm going to ask you to remain on the bus while we conduct our tour. You can take your seat now. But wait a sec. Thank you. I'd just like to say that I am so proud of my daughter, a lesbian. <laughs> you know, she and her lover came over for dinner the other night, and it started to rain really hard, and they were going to drive home, and my husband and I just said, no, you're staying here tonight, missies. <laughs> We'll sleep in the den. You take the master bedroom. <laughs> oh, I just want you to know that scares me as much as it scares you. Who is this guy, anyhow, to rewrite the end of my movie? And, and since when are, are all these guys involved? What the hell's going on? These are on? the new heads of the studio. What do you mean? That every six months, I meet a new group of studio heads. It's very disconcerting to me, too. But you know, the mortality rate in this business is unbelievable. Yeah, I'll say it is. It's like the Black Plague. Jesus. I think and, you're wonderful. And... Can I have your autograph? Yeah, I don't want anybody me going too, to, to jazz heaven. That's a, that's a, a nitwit idea. Uh, you know, the, the whole point of the movie is that nobody is saved. Sandy, this is an Easter film. We don't need a movie by an atheist. To, One more to you, I'm an atheist. To God, I'm the loyal opposition. <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, I think yeah. you're terrific. Thank you. This public adores him. Yeah, today they adore you, and tomorrow it's one of these. He's paranoid. I think you're being a little paranoid. No. You know what I'm being? I'm being realistic, you know? And that's why you don't like the movie. It's Come not on. a matter of what I like. Listen, I've been on this side of the business for four years now. Too much reality is not what the people want. <laughs> 